Now, what about if you get fire on your clothes? And we always get a couple answers, uh, different answers in the classroom. So if you get fire on your clothes, you need to stop, drop, cover, and roll. Can everyone say that with me? Stop, drop, cover, and roll. Okay, and it's very important you do this because we use water to put out fire. It's what we carry in all of our fire trucks, and it seems like a reasonable thing to say. I'm gonna go and get a bucket of water and dump it on my clothes that are on fire. But if you run to go get water, you're gonna give that fire air and that fire is gonna grow. So it's very important that we stop, drop, cover and roll, and that will smother the fire and put it out. Lieutenant McCormick, can you demonstrate that for me? So he's gonna stop, drop, he covers his face, and he's gonna roll back and forth. Awesome, good job. Okay, so to recap a couple of things we learned today. Smoke, if it's in a room, it's gonna go up. Smoke rises. We don't wanna breathe smoke in, so if we need to get out of that room, we need to stay low and go. We're gonna crawl on our hands and knees, stay low and go. Leave all of your belongings behind. You're gonna get out and stay out. Don't come back in for anything. And if you get fire on your clothes, if you run to go get water, that fire is gonna grow. It needs air to breathe. So we're gonna stop, drop, cover, and roll, and that will smother the fire and put it out. Thank you.